And we're back. Now it's time for a segment we call Hot Takes. Let's welcome Alan and Hari back to the stage to join Marcy and Pat. Alan, right there, please. Thank you very much. Hi. 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 Ooh, tell him what you were telling us about how important you are. No, I, I was saying that I'm not on succession, but people should still treat me with respect. Which Alan agrees with. Uh, absolutely, yep. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if there's a time when we'll live in a society where everyone is treated like they're on succession. I, <laughs> I think it's possible. I think that's certainly what we should be aspiring to. Oh, I almost said I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should just all act like shitheads and then maybe it'll happen. <laughs> just that's be mean dream. to everybody. Just be yeah. mean to everybody. Yeah. Just really lower the standard. Yeah. I live in New York, so we're already yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Yeah. I live in New York. (laughs) 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 All right, now for a segment we call Hot Takes. Here's how it works. We'll each have 30 seconds to defend an absolutely horrible opinion as if it were actually our own. Did anyone tell you about this segment, Alan? Yeah, I'd heard about it. (laughs) We each get one skip, but beware, what you skip may be worse. As my elementary school gym teacher used to say, stop skipping. (laughs) (laughs) Is that you? <laughs> no, that, uh, now the thing about hot takes is I truly haven't seen any of them. Not mine, not yours. We really, it really is. Uh, uh, we do it legit. All right, let's see the first hot take. I thought about it. I'm happy RBG didn't retire. I think respecting the wishes of any given individual is more important than the impact of those wishes on others. Yes. Look, I, I, I. Obviously, I called on. Um, Senator Dianne Feinstein uh, to retire because I think California should have two senators and uh, <laughs> but I have come to understand that that is sexist um, I if we had a if we had an absent senator who happened to be an 89 year old man who couldn't return and was holding up important judges who could protect choice I would love it thank you <laughs> All right, let's wow. see. Wow. Yeah, that's my opinion. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I had to hear about this way. Let's see what's next. Moms have it tough, but being a dad is harder. <sighs> <sighs> my partner's going to hear this. All right. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay. You, you don't know what the, the pressures of being a, a, a dad when, when you can't provide milk. <laughs> And they're just looking at you like you're the one without the milk. As if my nipples have no value at all. That's a devastating feeling as if I'm somehow, oh God. And also the, the weight you put on from childbirth, from the sympathy, the sympathy weight. Nobody ever talks about that. So it's harder because nobody thinks about, about yeah. us. No, it sounds terrible. Nobody ever thinks about the men. Yeah, no one thinks about men. (laughs) Really good point, Hari. Thank you. Let's see what's next. Of all the things I am, son, writer, friend, comedian, runner, lover, I am most proud to be a podcaster. (laughs) You know, yeah, I'm definitely going to do it. Um, Podcasting is so important. And when you get to meet a new person and they say, do you have a podcast? And you get to say yes. That's... (laughs) That's an amazing feeling. And I work so hard on so many things, but the thing I work the hardest at is, of course, talking about what sandwich I ate yesterday into the ether um, on a podcast. I think what I do is absolute art, and I think that it will be taught in history books one day. Thank you, Pat. All right. Up next. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I legitimately think Conor Roy would be among the better U.S. presidents. Let's look at the record. Let's go back to 2016. When a large orange man... Well, it was actually 2015 when he came down the escalator and he he made his announcement. I, I think that Conor Roy would hands down beat Donald Trump in arm wrestling or uh, Indian wrestling. Yeah, it's probably politically incorrect, but I don't care. 
um, or garbage can lid tossing. And this is why I think he'd be an excellent president. It's a really important point. Thank you for sharing that. Now let's do one more round. <clears throat> oh, mercy. Someone's really coming for me. I find being single and dating at age 40 to be a delight. Don't you agree? Love it. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for you, apparently, no, right? No, no, it's for you. Oh, why does it say a comma love it? I, I, I think you're just asking me the oh. question but ranting about the topic. <laughs> okay, it's for me. Um, here, okay, great. You know what? I do actually find it to be a delight. Uh, the alternatives that I could be in in a very unhappy marriage uh, with any man I've ever met before this moment in time <laughs> would be so much worse. Literally never met a man that I think would make me happy. Happier than dating men in their early 30s who are trying really hard to make themselves seem important to me. I, no alternative is better. <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. Thank you for sharing that. All right, let's see what's next. I try to be cool about it, but it really hurts my feelings if somebody doesn't know who I am or if they think I'm John Lovitz or Lyle Lovett. I'm smarter, funnier, more talented than they are, and people should know who I am. I try to be cool about it, but I really, it really hurts my feelings if somebody doesn't know who I am or if they think I'm John Lovitz or Lyle Lovett. I'm smarter, funnier, and more talented than they are, and people should know who I am. That's it. No, let's do, let's do the next one. I can't defend that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't agree with I don't agree with everything Tucker's ever said just the race stuff here's why I should be more famous than John Lovitz <laughs> was I on SNL Alan? no, no. Uh, do I have a bunch of famous impressions that people still say all the time? no but I could <laughs> <laughs> sometimes at, at Love It or Leave It shows, people think they're seeing Lyle Love It. But sometimes people at Lyle Love It shows think they're seeing Love It or Leave It. And he hates it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what's next. I hope my baby pursues comedy. Oh, God, you have no idea how I want to be the second most famous comedian whose last name is Kundabolu. I... <laughs> have had this pressure of being the most famous Kundabolu and finally for someone else to take. And I want my child to, you know, stay in Hampton Inns throughout their 20s. And, <laughs> and that is seen as success because it's a Hilton property. And I, 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 I want my child to miss birthdays and weddings and not get into any serious relationships until he's at his prime in his late 30s. And... <laughs> Or can I, do you want me to keep going? No, you got it. No, because I want him to hear this and know, do not do stand-up comedy. Do not, it, is, it is a scam. It is not something any of us should be pursuing. It is against God's will. Thank you, Hari. All right, what's next? I'm happy about Don't Say Gay. Maybe if fewer people had said gay around me, I wouldn't have to be gay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen. All I ever hear these days is gay, gay, gay. I'm so sick and tired of it. I think that maybe um, I would perhaps be working in finance with a snatched wife with gorgeous hair had people not said gay towards me when I was 12 years old. Um, I'm instead living in a hellscape where I'm a gay podcaster. <laughs> And this could have been avoided had no one thought to say gay to me. And so I'm really upset about that. Thank you, Pat. All right, who's up next? (laughs) 
I don't think television needs writers. Real actors can come up with stuff on their own. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> 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 All right, now let's see what happens next week when this whole town goes on strike. <laughs> People like me are going to be strutting their stuff in and out of executives' offices. Executive, I can't even speak. I am so full of shit. Um, in and out of executives' offices, uh, showing where the true talent lies. With egomaniacal, <laughs> look at me kind of people um, with whom I've spent most of my life. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Let's see what's next. Uh, oh, okay. I. I can't wait to spend money on whatever epic girl boss collab that Elizabeth Holmes and Jen Shaw come up with during their stint at Camp Brian. I honestly can't. Do you know what happens when you put the moxie <laughs> of those two women together in prison where they have time to really think and not focus so much on how they're trying to keep up their lies? When you give these women a chance and put their genius, because you can't be that evil and not be genius for so long. You don't know what kind of amazing thing they're going to come up with, and I think prison is great for women. <laughs> <laughs> Marcy, that was amazing. Thank you. Let's see what's... We have one more? <laughs> That's... I don't agree with everything Don Lemon has ever said. Just the stuff about women. <laughs> All right. When we come back, we'll end on a high note. <laughs> Not going to do it. That's Hot Takes, everybody. <laughs> 